welcome to our solar electric trailer journey. We're glad you joined us. In today's episode, we will be unboxing our solar system, so you'll be seeing it along with us for the very first time. Yeah, we're we're excited. Uh, so the first thing we're going to unbox is this uh, the charge controller, um, and the, the charge controller has an interesting role, and we barely understand this, right? Yeah. We're we're learning, we're, right? And so we're going to share some of what we've learned, but the. The charge controller uh, takes the electrical input from the solar panels and uh, pushes it into the battery in a way that works, right? And a charge controller has uh, capacity. And I'll, I'll, I'll just share with you uh, as we start opening. This is the uh, this is the Victron Energy from Pike Industries. Uh, smart solar charge controller, the MPPT 120. Now the 100 refers to volts, the 20 refers to amps. Our, our solar panels, and we'll show those probably the last today, but the, the solar panels uh, can, hand, can deliver uh, 500 watts total. Um, and they do that at 12 volts or 8 amps. Uh, the, the bottom line is this charge controller is a little bit small for that system and it will force us to install the solar panels in a serial, in a series rather than in parallel, uh, which has some disadvantages, some advantages, um, but one is that connected serially, um, uh, I understand that we won't have uh, any power if any of the uh, solar panels are shaded. So this is it. it it's a remarkably small little device. Uh, and uh, we'll have to figure out where all the wires go. <laughs> yeah. This is going to be quite an adventure. Yeah. But, but this will go inside the trailer. Uh, and I, I plan to install this near the where we already have our... Um, uh, little uh, fuse box, uh, and, and so anyway, that is that is the it's uh, our there charge controller, yeah. um, the Victron Energy Charge Controller from Pike Industries. So we're uh, this is probably the smallest we could use with our 500 watt mm -hmm. system. Um, they make a variety of of others. This one was about a hundred and sixty dollars. Right. All right. So, so I, item number two. Here we go. <laughs> that's right. So this is the the bus bar, and it came in a package that had already been opened. This is kind of a, a a relatively simple piece, and we won't show you everything that we'll end up using. We don't even own some of the wiring and things that we'll we'll need. But these bus bars uh, connect to the battery and provide uh, terminals. Uh, for all the different wiring so that all the wires don't go onto the just the, the you know there's a positive and a negative peg on the uh, battery and you can put all the wires d directly onto the battery as we understand it but it gets really messy and so the idea of these is to connect um, these bus bars so that you, we can have multiple different yeah. uh, terminals for each wire that we use, which then allows us to label it and keep it more organized. And uh, my little brain could use a little help organizing. So that's the bus bar. Uh, and that is a thing that, you know, three weeks ago, I did not even Maybe know it was a thing. So, we are learning so, so much. Yeah. So here's our next item. <laughs> yeah, this is our uh, battery monitor. And this is really critical. I mean, it, uh, you know, it sort of goes without saying that you need to be able to know how much mm. charge your battery has uh, and whether you're charging it up or draining it out. And, and so this is uh, a key part of that system. It'll tell you how, how the battery's performing. 
So let's open this up here. And it's it's remarkably small, this little guy. This is the, is the small. core piece there. Um, and then it comes with wires. I will have to figure out where mm -hmm. those go. Um, that's going to be interesting. And it comes with this. And I think this is what... I think it connects to this. This is the real meat of the uh, operation. Uh, and then this is some additional shielded wire. Boy, I have so much to learn. Do you know what this is? <laughs> no, huh? I you know don't have a clue. Okay, so this, this connects, uh, I think, connects the, um, the monitor that, as we see it uh, to uh, this, which connects to the battery. Um, so that'll be interesting. Uh, yeah, this is how we find out how the battery is actually doing. Uh, and then there are a few screws included. Uh, <laughs> wow. Uh, this little package, I imagine being like a full day project. <laughs> I have a lot of Saturdays uh, yeah. occupied uh, yeah. by well, these. Saturdays these. are blocked out for yeah. this. Who knows how long. Yeah, we've got a camping trip planned in, um, in uh, June, uh, yeah. late June. Yeah. So we, we're planning to be uh, out of the camper for about six weeks while we do all this work. Yeah. So that's, that's, that's real pressure for the amount of work that we've got yeah. to do, especially given the amount of learning <laughs> we've learning, got to do. Our learning curve is pretty steep right now. Yeah. I think we're at item number four now. We've got a bigger box this time. Yeah, this, this is the inverter. So this takes the electricity from the battery and puts it, uh, makes it available for the air conditioner primarily, the refrigerator, but everything that we power in the in the little rig that we've got, our little uh, A-liner Scout pop-up trailer, will run off of this. Um, it's capable of distributing up to about two kilowatts of electricity, uh, which would not be enough for a big trailer, but in our little trailer, the tiny little um, air conditioner and refrigerator and things that we've got, lights, pretty limited. We should be okay with that two kilowatt limit. We'll, we'll see. That's yeah. part. Yeah. Part of why we value yeah. this experience with our A-liner pop-up trailers, we kind of see this as the practice trailer for us to yeah. learn what, what the demands really are. Yeah. Okay, so let's see if I can get this out. This is heavy, by the way. Um, That's going to be the biggest, wow. the heaviest addition to the trailer will be this, this uh, inverter. Um, it also has an incorporated charge controller that's designed to allow the um, battery to be charged from uh, shore power, that is plugging it in to a, a grid source power and um, comes with some more wires <laughs> Lots which of wires. I'm going to have to spend a lot of time figuring out where where to stick them um, but this probably weighs about 30 pounds and we don't take anything off the trailer uh, with when we put this on. So the, the other heavy item that we'll put on the trailer uh, in this setup is the battery. Yeah, yeah. But we're also going to remove the old lead acid battery yeah. that's quite heavy. So the, the net increase in weight from the, from the battery. battery won't be too much. Yeah. But this uh, this adds quite a bit. But this there's nothing coming off. It's 30 pounds we're adding to the trailer. 
that is a little bit scary and we've got to mount this in a way that it will be happy mm -hmm. um, and in in proximity to uh, the battery and the fuse box and all of that so this is going to be this is this is bigger than I expected it would be and this is going to be kind of a challenge for us so um, bigger and heavier than I thought it would be. Uh, you know, the pictures uh, don't, yeah. do, don't do justice to Pictures online, don't, yeah, you can't go by that. So, yeah, this is going to be an interesting wow. an interesting piece of the puzzle, yeah, won't it? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. We can hardly wait till we get our truck so we can get, upgrade, <laughs> our trailer, <laughs> upgrade our but, trailer, but, uh, yeah, yeah uh, I wonder what we're going to have yeah. to leave home from now on when we, but, after we get this installed, yeah. So yeah. anyway, that's that's that piece. Now we've got our first solar panel. I've never seen one up close, never touched one, so this will be. I'm looking forward to this. Yeah, this is uh, interesting. We've got five of these. Uh, these are, uh, I believe, they're Chinese made. Yeah. Um, you know, the, the online reviews for this particular brand, New Power, uh, were um, the best among the Chinese-made uh, brands that I could find. Um, we recognize there's some risk in in that. Um, they're not wow. as as good, but. Um, in some ways, these are the easiest to replace and most affordable to replace. And given the numbers, we, we're seeing some advantage in that. We're still back here. This is a big box. Very well, very well packaged. Yes. Is it open? Okay, let's get it back down. There we go. Okay. Flexible and flat, and also very lightweight. Yeah. So uh, each each panel weighs only about four pounds. Um, interesting to see the the wires here. We'll have to you know learn a lot about how to get these all connected. Um, I'm hoping to find um, a double sided adhesive paper, you know, a contact paper or or uh, alternatively a glue that we can use to hold these down. But they also have grommets mm -hmm. through which we can bolt them onto the ceiling um, or the roof of the trailer. So uh, we have five of these uh, solar panels and uh, they're, they're fairly flexible. They're completely flat when they're installed. Uh, so we think these are a good fit for our trailer and very lightweight. So, the, the solar panels will only add about 20, 22 pounds to the trailer, um, which is much less than a uh, yeah. inverter that probably yeah. weighs 30 pounds 30 or pounds. so. Um, so this is, this is the solar panel. This is the key thing. We don't yet have the battery. We wanted to be able to show you the battery, um, and I'll take this part out <laughs> if the battery comes. <laughs> but uh, if the battery doesn't come, know that we, we've also ordered a battery. And the battery we ordered is a battery that will hold about 2 kilowatt hours of electricity. The five solar panels we expect can generate about 2.5 kilowatt hours of electricity per day. Um, you know, these numbers uh, are almost meaningless uh, to me. Um, but we think between the solar panels and the battery that you know that gives us about five total kilowatt hours a day that we can use four or five depending on the weather um, five kilowatt hours of electricity 
uh, here in our home in Jacksonville would cost us about 75 cents. So it's about 75 cents of electricity per day that we can generate and use with this system. Max, max. Uh, really, if the solar panels are generating, uh, you know, two and a half kilowatt hours, that you know, we're talking about 37 cents worth of electricity generated per day. Um, what we're thinking is, of course, that some days are travel days, and yeah. on the travel days, the solar panels will generally be out in the sun all day, but we yeah. won't be using much electricity, the air conditioner won't be on, etc. So our travel days will contribute to our overnighting yeah. and lifestyle on those days. So anyway, this is Fun. the solar panel and the, the, the battery. Uh, we'll have a little discussion about the battery if, if it comes. Today, yeah, we didn't if forget not, to order it. It's just as it yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, this is this is what we have to show you. We thought it would be interesting for you to see all the different solar system parts that we unboxed today. So we brought them outside on onto our patio, so you can have a quick view of everything we we looked at today. Yeah, it's uh, seeing it out there like this. I, it's a little intimidating <laughs> to me. We're we're nervous, excited, afraid. Yeah. Um, it's a lot of work for us uh, because we have to learn how to do everything. Um, you know, I, I kind of have to start at the level of what is a screwdriver. <laughs> and uh, so we've got a lot, a lot to learn. Uh, and I'm hoping that by sharing what we learn as we learn it, that we will help you avoid some of the mistakes yeah. that uh, we are inevitably yeah. going to make. Um, so that's kind of uh, where we are to today. So if you have any information to share, please comment. Yeah, so uh, we really love to hear from you. So we encourage you to comment on the videos, comment on our newsletter. Uh, one great way for you to be in touch with us is to just reply to our newsletter. So if you haven't subscribed to the newsletter yet, we invite you to do that. Just visit uh, OurSolarTrailer.com to subscribe. And then when you get those newsletters, you can just reply to us and we'll respond right back. Yeah. So we look forward to hearing from you. Bye. Be well. Mm -hmm.